Good day. Welcome to the KNX Development OEM webinar. This is the uh, third webinar within the KNX Development series. The first webinar, uh, KNX Development, why developing KNX is an introduction to uh, the KNX uh, technology and why you should uh, opt for KNX. Uh, for your uh, developments. The second webinar is uh, a deeper look into the KNX develop developer platform. So all the options that you can develop within KNX, including the latest uh, news in the technology, such as uh, KNX Secure, KNX IoT, etc. This webinar, uh, this is the shortest of the three. Uh, it is specific about OEM. This is uh, the option when you want to fast track your KNX development and you want to uh, use existing certified uh, devices to uh, go into the KNX market or to uh, grow your existing portfolio. Perfect. So we will look into uh, derived KNX products. That's what we, how we internally call OEM, derived uh, products. What is the registration process and what the fees and cost involved with the KNX, uh, with the OEM uh, registration slash certification are. The a good thing about KNX is you can do everything uh, from scratch. You can just grab the KNX specifications and you can develop everything yourself. Uh, KNX is a vendor independent at system integration. That means that uh, the system integrators can combine different um, manufacturers into one project. But from the manufacturing point of view, you are also uh, free to choose your hardware platform. Kenex Association does not develop the stacks. Kenex Association does not sell components. So it's up to the manufacturer to uh, do it. So that's obviously the hardest uh, uh, approach, which is the, the one on top. Uh, it requires more time and certification effort because you do everything from scratch. On the other hand, uh, the component cost will be the lowest because you are putting uh, all the development effort uh, internally. In between, we have uh, several um, options where you can combine existing certified components this is not the full end device, but a specific components like could be a TPU art, uh, for instance, or a RF transceiver. So instead of developing everything yourself, you take uh, recalls or take advantage of existing certified components by other manufacturers, and then uh, you can combine them to achieve the certified device. And on the other side of the spectrum, we have the OEM. In that case, uh, you are not developing anything. You are using existing fully certified KNX devices from other manufacturers, and then uh, you can relabel them. We will see now uh, how the process works and what the advantages are. When is OEM? When is the OEM approach used? Well, existing manufacturers can uh, enrich their portfolio of existing products. So uh, some manufacturers focus on specific components, but sometimes they want to offer the full portfolio. And instead of developing system devices themselves, they can opt for OEM uh, for this specific uh, branch of the uh, portfolio. So it's a good way to enrich existing portfolios, but you can also 
uh, start uh, in the KNX market and from scratch you can create a full portfolio. I mentioned that uh, a big advantage of the KNX technology is the vendor independent. This means uh, for, for the system integrator as well as for the manufacturers, that means that you can combine different OEM providers and uh, offer them together as your own brand. From the system integration point of view, uh, the system integrator will only use one tool, uh, ETS, to configure the devices. So this is a big advantage in KNX. You don't need specific tools for setup and commissioning a KNX project. Uh, you only need one. It doesn't matter how many uh, manufacturers you are combining. So from the OEM point of view, you can combine different manufacturers and uh, towards the uh, system integrator, uh, they will only see one brand and the uh, process of system integration remains uh, the same. Another uh, approach a business case in this case it's a, a vertical solution so some companies uh, want to tackle a specific vertical in the home and building industry and uh, oem also enables this business case you can uh, rebrand uh, existing certified devices in the vertical that you are interested in combining several manufacturers or not then uh, you can offer a KNX IP interface there's several uh, options when uh, developing a uh, client working on the IP side so one of them could be uh, tunneling uh, between your client and the KNX uh, installation as I explained in the previous webinar, there is also the new KNX IoT, which can be included in this type of vertical solution. And then you develop uh, the uh, client to interact with the KNX uh, installation. It could be for operation, maintenance, visualization. You can, uh, for instance, create a dashboard if you are specific in the vertical of water management. Uh, that could be your, your dashboard about so with OEM, uh, you can quickly uh, deploy these uh, solutions without the need of developing the hardware yourself. As I mentioned, um, the end customer uh, does not see who the original manufacturer is, but the company who is uh, taking over the product and doing the relabel. So you can have uh, several products from different manufacturers. The system integrator will only see uh, who the final uh, manufacturer is via the interface of the uh, ETS software. How does the registration process work? Uh, well, there's there are two approaches. In the first scenario, the uh, OEM uh, provider, because the company that originally manufactures the, the, the goods, the products, uh, initiates the registration uh, process. Um, in this case, uh, both companies uh, need to be KNX member. Uh, I can uh, drop this at this uh, point of the presentation. Any company that wants to sell equipment with a KNX uh, bearing the KNX uh, trademark logo must be a KNX uh, member. So both companies must be uh, members, and the uh, both can use the KNX uh, trademark. Uh, this, uh, of course, uh, for the OEM. A manufacturer, the company that is really uh, doing the relabel, uh, can uh, operate as a another KNX manufacturer. So in the process, uh, you can see some uh, 
technical words here uh, which refer to the application program that is imported into the EDS uh, software. Uh, basically, uh, what it needs to be done is to replace the manufacturer code from the uh, OEM provider with the manufacturer code of the new OEM manufacturer. And in the second scenario, uh, the company doing the relabel initiates the registration uh, process. In that case, you need to provide the OEM agreement with the main uh, manufacturer. Everything is done online, so we have a specific uh, registration tool. And um, within our system, uh, you need to appoint a certification coordinator in your company who will deal with this uh, paperwork. When you receive this presentation, you can go through the steps. And if you have any question, you can, of course, uh, ask me. To become OEM manufacturer, in case you are not a Canex member, uh, what we suggest, uh, there are two membership types that allow you using the KNX uh, trademark, is a licensee and shareholder. Uh, licensees, um, it's a variable um, membership fee, which is the 1% of the KNX turnover. We will see now what is the advantage when using uh, or when developing OEM. And the manufacturer code uh, is free of charge. So you need to consider becoming a KNX member. And um, when you start in this um, with KNX and with the OEM, we encourage you to uh, opt for licensee, but shareholder is obviously uh, uh, possible. Registering a new full product, a derived certificate, uh, the cost per product is uh, 240 euro. So let's say you want to create a portfolio of 10 products. Each product has a application program. So that's going to be 240 euro uh, times 10. So the full registration uh, of those 10 devices to go into the Kenex market with a portfolio of 10 devices, uh, the registration fees uh, are going to be uh, 240 euro times 10. Regarding uh, the membership type, uh, this is very interesting. Uh, certified products uh, pay a surveillance fee of 75 euro per year. This does not affect OEM products. So it's only the original manufacturer who pays those fees. You as an OEM, um, sorry, the, the main manufacturer who pays those fees. You as a company that relabels the product, you don't pay the surveillance fee. 1% KNX turnover for licensees, it does not include OEM products. So again, if you opt for licensee, you are, your company is less than 100 employees, your membership fee is going to be 1,000 euro a year. That's it. Uh, in case your company is larger, uh, 100 employees or more, the membership fee is going to be 2,000 euro a year. You don't need a manufacturer tool and the EITT. These are develop, uh, de uh, development tools. So that's also a cost that you are uh, released from. And uh, you are not uh, requested to have an ISO 9001 uh, certificate. It's only the company who develops the, uh, the certified product. So this four, getting rid of these four things is quite interesting. Uh, as a quick way to fast track your uh, approach to the KNX market. And uh, obviously, you are always entitled to initiate your own developments uh, in case that's your 
uh, how you operate. Uh, your company has a workforce to do so. And you can uh, combine OEM while you develop your own products and you can already test the market, see what uh, the re requests from your clients are, uh, evaluate uh, markets, run A-B tests. So it opens a lot of uh, opportunities. It is very flexible for you to uh, have a taste of the KNX uh, uh, market. We have a specific section about OEM with uh, companies that sponsor uh, the uh, section. And there is uh, also a brochure that contains uh, some of these uh, OEM products. So these are the links. And uh, that was it. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.